Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about hypertrophy and hyperplasia. Both of these processes will eventually lead to increase in the organ size. But why will the organ need to increase its size? Well, this happens when organ has to perform activities beyond what it normally does to keep the body functioning optimally. And there are two ways the organ increases its size. The first one is hypertrophy. In this type of uh, process each individual cell increases in size so when you look at the organ the whole organ increases in size because those each increase in each individual cell adds up the central theme to this hypertrophy is gene activation the cell has to increase its size without being divided so the only way it can do is to duplicate its organelles and the proteins how that happens is when uh, specific activation signals are released from the genes and as a result of those signals the organelles get divided and the size of the individual cell increases let's move over to hyperplasia in this type of process the organ increases its size by dividing each individual cells and when it's dividing each individual cells here is what uh, we call stem cells come into play. The stem cells stimula get stimulated and they uh, lead to production of new cells of that specific organ. This also means that the tissues which are permanent in nature cannot undergo hyperplasia. You have to understand the tissues which are permanent in nature cannot undergo hyperplasia. So this is central theme to this thing. Uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, the next thing which is pathological hyperplasia this is endometrial hyperplasia is one of those examples of pathological hy hyperplasia why is pathologic because this is hormone mediated process uh, increased estrogen levels lead to endometrial hyperplasia as an example and which eventually can lead to dysplasia and cancer one thing which is important here to be uh, noted is that what you call as benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH it is hyperplasia because the prostate increases in size by dividing individual cells it is not hypertrophy it is hyperplasia and this BPH the benign prostatic hyperplasia is an exception to pathologic hyperplasia because it still have it is a hormone mediated process but still it does not lead to dysplasia or increased risk of cancer I'll repeat the last line. Even though the BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, is a hormone mediated process, still this does not increase the risk for cancer. That's an exception to this rule. For more of such videos, please subscribe to our channel.